Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Elizabeth, Chi-Town Girl, Beth. I answer to almost anything. Like I've mentioned before, just don't piss me off. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. It is Thursday. It is a really kind of blah day here on the East Coast. It's really gloomy. I mean, the sun is kind of trying to come out, but we've got a lot of rain coming in for the rest of today. But tomorrow and Saturday, they're saying like, possibly close to 80 degrees. If that's the case, I am going to be digging out my car because it's a summer car. And if anybody's interested, because people have asked me about my car, I will be more than happy to give you a look because I bet you guys have no idea um, the gearhead that I really, really am. <laughs> okay, I have more wonderful things that I have found at DT. I have to admit, since I moved, it seems like I'm going in different directions and I don't know if good stuff is following me, but so be it. I, I, I'm shocked at what I came up with and let's rock and roll. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well today. Okay, let's start with the Floral Garden LED lights. You can get them in either copper or silver. I purchased them in both colors. I'm just gonna give you a shot of the front of package. The top part is the silver. The bottom part is the copper. You have to put two AA batteries inside. Let me open one up so you can see what they look like. I actually opened one up last night and put it up in front of a window just to get an idea. And I'll be honest, I've never seen these before. So, well, I shouldn't say that. I've seen them before, but I've never lit them up before. So I have to say, I was pretty impressed with, um, oh my goodness. Mm, I haven't had my coffee. Ugh. I'm pretty impressed with the, the light. It was like really cool. So here's where your batteries go. Again, two double A's. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have one of those small, small screwdrivers. Um, this is the set that I always recommend. They sell this at Dollar Tree. It has a bunch of Phillips, different sizes, and then flat tops. Um, that way you can pretty much get to anything that requires batteries of this nature, which is basically Dollar Tree you're gonna get with that screwdriver set. So it's a good buy. Um, you're gonna unscrew the top here, take this apart, put your two AA batteries in. You're gonna carefully unwind this because this literally is wire thin. They're not joking when they say wire because this is the actual wire and it breaks very easily. So you try to wanna bend it the way you want it and kinda leave it. It's not something that you wanna constantly, constantly play with. I mean, you can move it around, but as far as adjusting the wire, you don't want to mess with it too much because it will snap off. So you just want to be careful. So again, that was the copper. And let me see if I can get a silver open a little bit easier than I did the copper one, just so you can get for color comparison. Well, I should have done that the first time. Duh. Okay, there's the silver. So you can see there's quite a difference. Um, a lot of people tend to go with silver because it's, it's, well, I shouldn't say that a lot of people. It just depends on what you're using it for. A lot of people use them in their fairy gardens. I have mine actually up there on a window right now. Um, and it just put enough light in the room to just kind of make it pretty. All right, I'm just going to throw these to the side or I'll be yapping about those forever. And you guys don't want to hear me yap about lights forever. All righty, Jot. They have this cute scissors out right now. Here is a regular pair of scissors by Jot which is just a regular pair of scissors. They're pretty, you know, they're purple, my favorite color. But the difference is, is these have patterns on the bottoms. So this one has a purple handle with pink inside. Here's the regular purple handle. So this just gives it a little pizzazz. And then you've got that design and the design is on the front of the scissor. Yeah, I show you, I show you. Okay, so there's one side. And there's the other. And then I found one. I'll open this one too because they're both going in my desk right now. On my desk. I don't poke myself. Then I found this pair with the flowers. So I found the stripe pair and the flower pair. This handle has lighter pink with green. Let me show this one again. The purple with the pink. So actually those are going to go right into my cup. Ta-da! And more garbage which for right now, because I have such a mess here, we're just gonna toss it back there like that. Okay, let's move on. iPads, compressed cooling cucumber. You get 16 pads in a box. 
Now, let me open this up. I thought this was kind of cool. I don't normally get stuff like this because I'm going to be honest, in my opinion, ain't nothing going to take these bags away. Ain't nothing going to bring back or take away that stress that made those bags there. This does not expire until December of 2019. Let's open this and check it out. I thought this was just different. And I guess what caught me was the cucumbers. I'm not going to lie. So you get 16 individual cucumber slices. Well, what are, they're not real cucumbers, although they could pass on a salad. I wonder if I could throw these on someone's salad and get away with it. I'm so mean. <laughs> Anyways, they're in a Ziploc package. You get 16 pads. It says cooling cucumber. Seal in plastic bag and place in a refrigerator overnight. May be stored in the freezer until needed. For external use only, if eye irritation occurs, rinse thoroughly with water and discontinue use. So basically, you pop these suckers in the freezer. So they're trying to imitate what they're saying that a real cucumber does. So if you guys are interested in me doing a video with these on my eyes, I don't know if I could do that. Um, I'm pretty brave. I don't know. Let me know down below. We'll see what happens. So we'll see what happens. We'll give them a try. All right. Makeup bags. Oh, oh, oh. These are simply adorable. These are not small in any way, shape, or form. We have one with colored pineapples. There's blue and green and teal and orange. And it's like a really vibrant pink. Oh, it's absolutely precious. The design is on the front and the back. You have this lovely wristlet, which is perfect. How many of you go for walks in the park or just go somewhere and you just, or you go to an arts and crafts show? I'm constantly at car shows. Throw that on your wrist, something to hold. It's perfect. Your cell phone, you know, maybe some gum, a pack of cigarettes, a lighter, whatever. It's great. This is pretty big. You open it up with the zipper on the top and there's your inside. And here's both of my hands. So you can fit plenty in there. There's the inside. Really, really nice. Definitely going to be washable because it's plastic. Okay, so there was this one. And then I found this one with all these cactuses in this dark blue and teal and white and green. Pattern is the same on the front and the back. I'm almost thinking I better go and see if these are still there. Dark blue zipper. Open it up. And then there's your inside. At some point. Whoop, there we go, Beth. There's your inside. Okay, so we have this pattern. And then... The pineapples, front, and your back. I love the mint green zipper. It really makes it pop. Open it up. These are really lovely. I think I'm going to go back. I bet they're gone because they were just putting them out, and I went, ooh, 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 ooh. And then, last but not least, the flamingo. I told you guys, I don't know, I'm on a kick all of a sudden. Super pink zipper, so precious. Open it up, and there you go. Hang it on your wrist, design on the front and the back. Simply adorable. Those were the only four that I saw the girl take out of the box. If there's any more, I'm not aware of them. Um, if I find them, you guys know, I will share them with you. Hanging right along with those bags, the girl was also putting out this messenger bag. It has all these little baby cactuses all over it. This is too cute. Now you can see the size of this. This is four by this. This is four by five. Here's the makeup bag. So you could see. Well, it pretty much goes like to right there. You can see it's a decent sized bag. Okay, so this has the long black strap, so you could wear. It. I can't because I got big boobs, but well, I could hang it over one boob. Um, <laughs> put it over my neck like a feeder bag. Um, you've got a zipper on the top. Perfect for your cell. I mean, I can fit my whole hand in there. So it's perfect for cell phone, anything that you just don't want to lug around a big, heavy purse. Makeup. Oh, my goodness. Okay. LA Covers is out to rock the cash bar. Let me tell you. Um, I'm just trying to gather up one section of colors first. Lip Duo Contour Pencil. The color, I, these colors and these names are just fantastic. You get two pencils. Here's the top portion with the sharpener, you can see. And then there's the bottom portion. Okay. These are 0.015 ounces each. 
and you're getting a lit pencil, sharpener included, and you can achieve three different looks by doing the ombre effects. And it's gonna show you on the package just how to do them. This particular package has the color called Vanilla Latte. Let me see if I can get you, there we go. There's the color in that package. It's like a coral type of color. And then there's your latte at the bottom. Then, same thing, different color. This one is called Drama Queen. I need to get one of these and send it to my daughter. Ha <laughs> ha, I love you, Rachel. But I always call her the Drama Queen. And then there's that there. Again, here it's showing you that ombre, how to do an ombre effect, if you're not aware. Next, love this, Sugar Plum. Guess what color those are? <laughs> You've got a beautiful violet purple that follows up by a lovely brighter like lilac. Let me see if I can get that glare off. There we go, how's that? And then you see the ombre effect. Next, this one is called Love Stick. Many things come to mind. Never mind. here we go. It's been a long couple of weeks. This has more, I'm gonna say more of a, see this color right up there? That's basically what you're looking at in the top. So it's like a burnt, dark burnt red. And then there's your sidekick, which is more of like a pinky tone, which you're gonna see up in here. Again, shows you how to do different things for ombre effects. Last but not least now, these are what I found. So there's one, two, three, four, five different versions just in the stick and I don't know if there's more. This one is called Rock Candy. This gives you, this is another really pretty one too. It gives you another beautiful pink, almost like a flamingo pink there on the top with your sharpener. And then below it gives you like a, let me try to change it for you. Mm, maybe right there, it's like a mauve type of color. Okay, so wow, a lot of bang for your buck, literally. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, more LA colors. You guys are gonna flip out on me. I'm just gonna, here they all are. Okay, let me go through one at a time. I have no idea if I got them all. I just grabbed what was on the end cap. This is LA colors, um, 0 0.11 ounces. This is the metal lipstick. These have a glitter in them. This one is called Melted. I'm gonna try to get as close as I can with the colors here and give you a moment to take a peek at them. So there's the front portion and there's the color. If you look over here to the side, you can kind of see some of that sparkle. The next color is called Molten and it's a beautiful red. See the sparkles there? Let me try to give you a better look. Really pretty and there is the name of it. The next color is flushed. You bring it in nice and close for you. And there's the color. I really don't know if you're getting the full effect of the color. I'm, I'm just kind of bringing it in close and holding it still for a moment so you can grasp it. Because I know it's hard to pick up colors on a screen as well as it is in a book. When you look at a book, it colors and go, okay, it looks great in the book, but looks crappy on you or me or whoever. Next color is called punked. This is a really rocking color. Again, it's got all metallics and it's like a glitter flake in there. And let me give you a close up of the front. There we go. Next color is called Crushed. Beautiful um, mauve pink. There's the front. And there's the color. I really hope you guys can see these. They're so pretty in person. The next color, we've got a little bit more of a brownish type tone here, and this one is called Bronzed. There's the front of the package, and there's the color. I'm very fair skinned, so some of these colors I wouldn't be able to pull off. My daughter definitely would, but not me. Um, and that's where most of these are gonna go. And then this next one is called Blushed. This is really metallic -y. Let me bring it in nice and close. I hope this wasn't a duplicate and then no it wasn't and there's the color and then I have one more sitting here but I think I sh I think it's a double yes um 
flushed. I'm sorry, I had I had two of this one. So there's the last color. And then I also did see this auto lip liner in All Naturel. It's a twist up pencil. I like these because they don't drag. And what I mean by that is sometimes pencils are so um, thick or so hard that you put them on your eyes and they drag the skin or the same on your mouth. These are nice and smooth. They go on really, really nicely. In fact, I'm going to open it up. The natural one is one I use quite a bit. You pull off the top, you twist up the top, and it's just, here's my old, old hands again. It just glides on really nicely. This is nice if you want to use it for a lip liner, if you don't want something to be really predominant with your main color on the inside. This just helps a lot from bleeding, lipsticks bleeding, and all that kind of fun stuff. I'm going to wrap up with two other things here that are also, well, everything I have here is brand new, but these I thought were super cute. This is a plastic container. On the top, it says push, and then the top pushes in. Almost like those garbage disposals, and that's like those little dispensers. These are made to be mismatched like this. I mean, meaning like, I mean, I guess you could switch. There's different colors. I guess you could switch the lids and do something like this. But obviously, this is meant to go with this because it's got the green in the middle. So they had this version of the green and the yellow. They had this version, which, of course, me, 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 of a pastel purple with a pink. And then, so you could use it for garbage. It's like a little garbage can for your, like, desk. It's a novelty thing. You could do actually anything you want with it. You could put makeup brushes in here. You could use it just like this and throw trash. You do whatever you want. There was, there was, there was about five different colors all together. I don't recall all of them. These were the two that got my attention, so I grabbed them. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up for now. Um, thank you to all the wonderful new subscribers I've received lately. I hope you liked that new intro I did. Not bad, huh? It only took me about three years to figure out how to do it. Um, <laughs> stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much to everybody. I really appreciate all your comments and all your wonderful feedback. I'll be back later on with another Dollar Tree haul for all of you. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Come help me pack and unpack. See you later. Bye.